This right here is a Bur. <laughs> I'm gonna get the head away from you. Um, I know the this head right makes me a little nervous. <laughs> this right here is a Burmese python. Now his name is Buddy, <laughs> and um, I'm gonna actually. Oh gosh, he's a little awkward here. Here, help me hold that in okay. right there. Take a look. As long as we keep Buddy's face away. Oh, from you're me, fine. Okay. We're, we're gonna trade. Oh, Buddy's there heavy. You. Yeah, there you go. Now grab this in right here. Oh, he's got the mic. <laughs> oh, oh. That's not good when you work with animals on live television. Um, just an incredible creature from Southeast Asia. Oh, buddy is beautiful. One of the number one problems, Callie. Believe it or not, people buy these as pets. He's up really close to your face. That it's okay. Make you uncomfortable? No, 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 not really. I know his temperament, okay. but um, it's just like I said. But these people buy pythons as pets. Yes, Burmese pythons. They see them when they're really, really little and cute, and they think, oh, this would be a great present. And then all of a sudden, you realize in a few years, you end up with something like a buddy, and uh, they'll get even bigger. Right. Okay. Uh, again, the <laughs> theme of all this is none of these besides Charlotte the Tarantula besides make Charlotte, good pets. Make so good for parents, pets. Here's your excuse right here as to why you can't get this. Don't do it. This is not a good Christmas present. No, and there are reptiles that do make good pets. Beginner reptiles, bearded dragons, and corn snakes make wonderful pets. But stick away unless you're an advanced keeper for something like this. And check your local laws because a lot of times these large pythons, they're illegal. Um, and so, and this, like I said, one of the largest snakes in the world. They get up to 20 feet long, weigh several hundred pounds. They've been recorded eating deer, monkeys, and pigs. <laughs> you've been doing this since you were 12 years old. You've been producing animal shows. Yes, yes. Um, yeah, I, at 12 years old, I rescued my first reptile. And uh, since then, I've done... Booger the Lizard? Yeah, Booger the Lizard. I love your... Oh, I, this is great, Callie. Doing the research. Yes, Booger the Green Iguana was one of my first animals. And uh, Booger really, really taught me a lot. She joined me in some of the first shows I did. I um, visited children when I was like 12, 13 years old doing shows. I'd volunteer. Basically, just educating people about these incredible creatures. Um, and yeah, basically how to become a responsible pet owner. Um, that's our number one huge message because all the animals you see used to be someone's pet. And today we're, we're talking all reptiles and really the theme is they're beautiful to look at, a little intimidating, yeah, I know but you're these serious. are not great pets. And that's all the animals you have with us today Absolutely. are rescued animals. And a lot of um, children maybe talk their parents into getting these pets and mm -hmm. then Scooter ends up not do we do well in the house? <laughs> they get so big. Now, some reptiles, I first want to say that some do make really good beginner pets, but all the animals you're going to see today that we brought on the show, they not do not pets. make good pets. They're only for advanced keepers, and we really want to deter people away from getting these animals. Now, this, of course, you mentioned this is Scooter. He is a full-grown adult male green iguana. Do you want to touch Scooter for me? Look at that. Oh, look at, I'm looking at you. Very, yeah, he's very. Looking, he's noticing me. Pet. I don't know if he no, wants to no, be me in the eye. I don't yeah. think he wants to be petted. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> um, you can actually take a look. You can see this animal um, lives his lives up in the trees. They have very, very sharp claws. Um, like they'll live 50 to 60 feet up in the tree. So people don't realize that you cannot keep an animal like this just in a simple yeah. glass aquarium. And uh, He would be miserable in a glass yeah, aquarium. Yeah, they get really, really big. And, um, and all of your animals you keep on your reserve yes, in Idaho. Yes, are, um, like I said, all rescues. They have custom built habitats because these are huge creatures and um, some of them actually can be quite aggressive. There you go. There you go. Okay, watch your hand. There you go. Should I break off the end for him? I got it. Nice. <laughs> it's lunchtime. This is a baby American alligator. Now, her name is Chompers. Isn't Chompers, that cute? That is a fitting Isn't name. she the cutest thing you've ever seen? She is adorable, but again, she doesn't no, make a good pet. No, yes, you're going to love and this story. Someone had her as a pet? Yes, someone, some guy bought this for his fiance as an anniversary present. Now, just imagine, Callie, just someone coming home. He did home. not do his research. He well. did not do his research. He ordered it from Florida, and it's it, it kills me that these animals are so easy to get and they do not make good pets. No one should be housing crocodilians, and I believe while well, they're obviously um, illegal here in New York and, and in a lot of states, um, people need to realize that they do not stay this cute um, right. for long. They grow, yeah. guess how much, how much yeah, they Chompers grow is a adorable, year. Yeah, but how big is she going she'll to She'll grow a foot a year, and she'll get over 13 feet long. She'll weigh several hundred pounds. Okay, this is one of my favorites. Are you ready? Are you nervous? I'm not a fan, but... Okay, okay, here we go. Anyways. This right here is our furry princess, we like to say. Oh, come on, sweetheart. Take a look here. Uh, a furry princess. This is our furry princess. This right. Oh, you're okay, sweetheart. This right here is Charlotte, and Charlotte is a rose. Charlotte, of course. You like that, Charlotte's web? Mm -hmm. Charlotte is a rose-haired tarantula, 
And uh, she's just an incredible creature. If you notice, I'm actually being very gentle with her because if I were to drop Charlotte, she'd actually probably die. This right here is a common snapping turtle. I'm gonna get his face away from you. Why do you um, call it a snapping turtle? <laughs> yeah, of course, because they this snap. Is snap on and um, this is just water, don't worry. Um, these, this is basically a primarily aquatic animal. And uh, snapping turtles are very unique because take a look at that long neck. Isn't that incredible? Yeah. And that's, really I, I kind of like, the whole reason why I'm holding him behind his shell is, uh, so if I held him like this, he'd probably whip up and try to get me. So, do you want to feel how he heavy snapped, he is? Have you ever, Look at that. Have and you now ever put your hands down just a little bit. I, you know what? I actually He's have soft once. And squishy and he is squashing soft and squishy. And take a look. I'm glad you pointed that out. Let's, let's lift him up right here. So and right here, if you lift strong. him up, you can see he has this diamond shape. That's his shell. You see this right here? That's just right. his fat. And so I, say he's got a little cellulite here. he does, he does. But that's how snapping turtles are. And of course, they can't put themselves really in their shell. So for a defense mechanism, as we talked about, they will snap. 